So in this video, I'm going to be doing the same design as what is on my nails, done by the amazing Kerry Anderson. So I've applied my tips, done all my natural nail prep, everything like that. I'm then coming in with a thin base layer of CJP crystal glass. Uh, this client is only a one-off client, which is why I don't go all the way down to the cuticle with the base layer, uh, just because she will be taking them off after Christmas. So on this nail, I come in with a blue mix that I made myself from a few different CJP powders, applying small wet beads of that blue, snow white and crystal glass, coming in at a 90 degree angle with the tip of my brush, and a bit of a different marbling technique, instead of swirling through those beads, I sort of drag them from side to side, just gives a bit of a different effect. On this nail, I come in with a bead of CJP and more pushing it back into the cuticle and then blending that into the nail. I then come in with the same powders as on the first nail, um, but I don't do it all the way down the nail. Sorry, my hand gets in the way a bit when I'm marbling. I just do this marbling at the tip of the nail. And I then come in with a blue glitter. Um, this is a really, really old glitter that I just found in my drawer. I think it was off eBay. Some of those little pots that you can buy for really cheap. So I then come back and cap both of these two nails in crystal glass. Applying a bead at the cuticle as always, getting it nice and flush in that cuticle area and then walking it down the nail with the belly of my brush. Um, I do the new apex application, so the apex needs to be in the back third of the nail. So it comes out from the cuticle up to your apex in that back third and then straight out to the free edge. And I find by capping in this method, it really helps you with the new apex uh, because you're walking the bead all the way down so it keeps it nice and straight and gets your apex where you want it in the back third. Uh, and I do the cap every nail exactly the same so all my nails have the same structure.
So on this nail, I applied that blue glitter mix. It is a mix of baby blue from CJP, frozen and snow white. So I just apply at the cuticle, getting it nice and neat around that cuticle area and then just blending it up into the tip. Then come in with a bead of CJP Angel Wings, just applying that at the tip and then blending it down to one side. Just fading it down, making sure it's nice and smooth. And then on the bottom bit, I just apply a tiny little bead of CJP Crystal Glass and come in with one of these gorgeous snowflakes from the Glitter Planet. And I do get 10% off. You can use my discount code Pilgrim 10 on the Glitter Planet website. Um, I just find you need to hold these snowflakes in that acrylic a little bit just because they're bigger and they're, they're very thin but they can be quite stiff. So you just need to hold them and press them into that acrylic just to keep them in place. So on this nail, I'm doing a reverse smile line. So I come in with CJP Amour, um, walking the edges of that bead down to the corners of the nail, making sure it's nice and even. Uh, and when you're happy with that, well, make sure your bead is blended nice and flush to the natural nail so you don't get any shadowing. And then come in with your brush and create that nice, crisp, sharp wall. Checking from all angles to make sure that the wall goes from corner to corner. Then come in with another bead of Amour at the cuticle. Again, checking from all angles because this is your apex. Uh, I won't be capping the whole nail in crystal glass. So you need to make sure your apex is in the right place. And this nail is a full nail of CJP Angel Wings. So we apply quite a large bead at the cuticle, push and place that glitter up into the cuticle area and then just blend it down towards the tip. Uh, you can keep adding more if needed um, to build your depth of colour. Now then cap the whole nail in crystal glass. As you can see, I applied quite a large bead, push the bottom of that bead into the cuticle area, making sure it's nice and flush and you've got no step. And then walk the rest of the bead down the nail with the belly of your brush.
then do the same on this nail as I do on all the nails that I cap and just making sure you've really got that snowflake capped so that you don't file any of it away. Then come in and refine that smile line with a 150 grit file, holding it at a 90 degree angle, pushing up right against that wall to make sure it's nice and crisp and sharp. I then pick up a tiny bead of crystal glass and dip into the blue glitter, placing that at the tip and just pushing it right round into both of those corners. And once I'm happy with where that glitter's placed and that it's nice and neat and tidy, I'll just cap that tip area in crystal glass. On to my fining technique, so as you can see I refine those edges and the shape first. I then come in and start at one side wall, go around my cuticle area tucking that file in and then up the other side wall. I then file down the barrel of the nail, so I do all these steps first and then I'll keep repeating them until I'm happy with the shape and the thickness of that nail and that it's all nice and smooth and balanced. If you do the same filing technique on every nail, all your nails will look the same. They'll, they'll all be the same length, the same shape. They'll all look nice and even.
And I then come in with my Chiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat, applying that to all the nails, making sure it's nice and smooth. Uh, and then when I'm happy, I'll cap, cap, cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And when the hand comes out of the lamp, just give it a minute or so to cool uh, before you apply your cuticle oil, because if you don't, it can dull the gorgeous shine of that top coat. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching.